I'm back yet again with my um, box of projects. I'm kind of beginning to feel this box is a little bit like a Mary Poppins bag because it seems to be never ending. Um, I obviously was quite creative last year. Okay, let's get going then. Uh, we'll look at this one first. This is a 4x4 page. Um, I've got stamping in the background. It looks like the wrinkle-free distress technique um, to begin with in dusty concord and peeled paint and then it was stamped over then some text uh, sorry some music paper was added which was colored with the same inks and edged with the peel paint the collage image applied um, a quote and some prima flowers on that one the next one is another tag um, quite a simple tag looks like wrinkle free distress again in the background tea dye and shabby shutters maybe some stamping in brown and collage image a little message and some text across there as well one of the things i like to do and um, people are asking about the techniques i use i do use a lot of the uh, wrinkle free distress backgrounds and stamp over them um, but another thing I like to do when I'm placing pictures or collage images is to try and incorporate them a little bit more is just stamp over them somewhere in the picture or add embellishment that goes over the image slightly and into the background and it just helps them um, look more incorporated into your piece rather than just sat on top of it and there's some little fibres at the top there to match this one was an ATC again created for one of the challenge blogs um, where the theme was wild animals and I only actually own one stamp I think that has got wild animals on it. It's this um, zebra stamp which I really like this stamp. I don't normally go for um, animals in my artwork but I really do like this zebra stamp and again it's the wrinkle free distress. There's some of the Tim Holtz speckles around there. That's another technique to help fill spaces. Um, I've got the faux linen stamp on here as well. I don't know whether you can make that out. Yeah, it's just about focusing there. If you feel that you've stamped a piece and it just needs a little bit of something to fill it up and it's not embellishments, then faux linen or speckles like that sort of just fill in the gaps a little bit and make it look a bit more complete. So I've also got um, the text on there. I've got a grunge board arrow with one of the, um, oh, what do you call those things? The ribbon things. You know what I mean. And one of these things as well. <laughs> I think my memory's going a bit blank doing all these videos. Um, and then there's a little dome sticker there as well. Okay. Another ATC. I think this is one of my favourite ATCs. In fact, I really like the zebra one as well, but this one... The theme was peacocks. I don't have any peacock stamps. Um, I do look. I do like peacocks. I've just not found any stamps that that I actually like enough to buy. So I do have some peacock feathers though. Again, wrinkle-free distress in the background. In pine needles and I'm not sure of the other colour there. It's one of the brown colours, possibly frayed burlap, maybe. Um, and then I put the feather over and framed the feather, put some little metal clips on. Um, the quote is from a stamping upset. And I tore out the dictionary, the definition of peacock, and just added that along the bottom there. Then I have a black and white themed 4x4 piece. Um, this is book page in the background which has been painted with gesso and then the side bits here is German scrap which again was painted with the gesso. I found a black and white image and a rub on and some white prima and the little brads here, I didn't have any white brads so again they were painted um, just so they'd match in with the theme. And there's a little bit of torn paper across the bottom there as well. Another 4x4 four four page, again distress inks. I stamped the main image here. This is a Crafty Individuals image. So it's the website is craftyindividuals.co.uk um, and I do believe they ship internationally as well. They've got quite a, a good range of stamps. And there is 
I think it's stampdiva.com in the States carries the crafty individual stamps too so you might get cheaper shipping from there but they've not got the whole line um, so basically this was stamped and then um, masked whilst the background was stamped and then I stamped the birds and if you see what I mean about the technique of over stamping your main image so it looks part of it I know it's not a collage image in this example but the birds come over the frame slightly so it integrates that main image that was masked off and there's a little quote there as well another arch this one it's not picking up the colours too well on this one but it was um, it started out with wrinkle free distress technique in dusty concord and faded jeans and then where there were gaps of white I went over it sponged over chalk ink in thatched straw and then um, stamped with the Tim Holtz um, floral stamp in faded jeans added the collage image some little bits of um, paper text so she wasn't standing in the air she had something to stand on and then a little quote at the side there this one again the bandana or stays on technique whichever you like to call it it's uh, a large bingo stamp in the background that was highlighted with white after applying lots of different stays on inks to it. Um, the theme for this was numbers, I think, um, hence the bingo card and there's grunge board numbers in the same colours. And again, I've given her something to stand on, which is a um, ruler so that uh, she's not in mid-air there. Uh, this piece here... Um, was for the house challenge. I really like this one. Um, you'll notice a lot of my work is quite grungy and dark but I do like pretty pink things as well so I like this one and the theme was femme and tone book page in the background coloured with chalk inks and some gesso I think and um, some stamping down here. Pearls were applied um, all around the outside and then some individual pearls added and then some lace at the bottom and on some tiny tags and jump rings um, the word femme so I like that one another 4x4 four four piece um, I can't quite remember the theme for this one but same techniques again basically wrinkle free distress some stamping um, I've used the that ruler paper again and collage image, some grun grunge board and some text there too. This one here, if you don't know what these are, these are Moo cards and they're really tiny. I can't remember the exact measurements because I've not made them for a while but they used to be a challenge for Moo cards. Um, they're sort of a bit like microscope slide size and they're quite a challenge to work on because the space obviously is so very limited um, but they're quite fun to do and I have a few of those in here somewhere this is a canvas I think it's 4x6 canvas it's either 4x6 or 5x7 and the theme for this one was um, it was for Mixed Media Monday so you didn't have to do a canvas but the challenge was to use um, some kind of um, transfer technique so I used gel medium to transfer this image that was it was printed onto um, glossy photo paper with an inkjet printer and then I added gel medium to the canvas adhered the um, picture and then you leave it for a little while peel it back and rub off the paper and then there's various inks sprays um, paints, gesso, all sorts of stuff around the outside and a, a range of stamps, I think they're mostly Tim Holtz ones um, so I was quite pleased with how that came out because transfers are not my not my thing really, I'm not that good at them, some people are brilliant at them um, but they don't tend to turn out that well for me but I was, I was pleased with that one, it works well on, on canvas and I found that glossy photo paper is, is the best um, way to try it as well Right, out of time again. I shall continue my never-ending box of art fairly shortly. Leave a comment and bye for now.